Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Boat educational video where we will talk about how to find entries in Forex. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, do it right away. We do these educational videos very often along with the live trade examples and daily market analysis. So stay tuned, don't miss these videos, subscribe and click that notification bell. In this video, you will learn how to find the most optimal entry points for the best risk to reward trading opportunities. You will also have deeper understanding what the best entries can be found while trading with the trend or against the trend. And uh, we will talk about indicators which can help you to spot the emerging trend and validate your entry. What you see here is the chart for the Australian Swiss franc. And by looking at the chart, it would be difficult at the first glance to find opportunity because what we have is the top and top here produced. At the same time, we have low and then we have lower low. So this is a bit tricky market. And how to find entries if it's so tricky? Well, the first rule in my book is to find the trend because if you want to find an entry, you need to know the direction of your entry. Well, some traders will trade against the trend and some traders will trade with the trend. However, if you do analysis on multiple time frames, on one time frame, it can be a buy signal, but on the lower time frame, it can be a sell signal. So it's very important to distinguish the trend on the long term time frame best probably is the daily so always start with the daily candles it's very good practice and the first thing is of course to see the higher highs and higher lows pattern or lower lows pattern this is the first indication of the trend and this is where you want to take your entry so how we find the trend well what i do use i do like a lot is indicator called zigzag we can add it to the chart. Just type zigzag. You will have it at the very top at the trading view. So click that and straight away we have higher highs and higher lows as can be seen. We have the pattern which is showing us that we are producing high highs and higher lows. But at the same time, this could have been a good selling opportunity. But what we need to keep in mind is also the lower time frames. So on the daily time frame, this is the previously made high. And here you can see that there was a new higher high, which broke above the previous higher high. This is the first indication of the change in trend. And this is where you need to look for the opportunity. So once you have that, once you see that the price starting to change the direction, because here we had a downtrend and right there, the trend has changed. Okay, so we know from this point onwards that the probability is in favor of an uptrend. And if we look at the previously made low right there, it hasn't been broken. There were spikes, but no clear break below, which means that this low is holding. Now, moving on to the forward chart, we have the consolidation phase. Yet again, up, down, up, down market clearly ranging. And we have this support, which has been rejected multiple times. Now, we already know from the daily chart that it's the best to go long because we produced a new higher high. And here we yet again seeing that the price is starting to move up. We can also spot the resistance area and the support. So you know the trend. You understand now what is the trend because support resistance levels holds. You understand the trend. You need to go with the trend. Now, the best trading opportunity would be near the strong supply demand zones. These are the levels where there was some sort of breakout. These were the levels where you can see some action. These are the levels where we saw some volume. And now let's add the volume indicator as well. So right there, we see the strong volume has been at this green candle. So this is where the trend could have started and price returned back to this area. So this could have been a good opportunity because of this abnormal buying volume. Same if we go back, we can spot multiple cases like that. Here we had the abnormal volume, as you can see, but price failed to break and close below the previously made low. So this strong selling volume didn't confirm the downtrend. Yet again, strong selling volume, but nothing happened. 
So these are indications what is happening in the market. And this is where usually you can go back and see whether you should find your entries near that. But speaking about the volumes, the interesting indicator as well is the volume profile, which you can see here, volume profile. And we can choose either visible range, which will take all the range, or we can do a fixed range where we can mark what range we're looking at for the highest volume. So if I do that, Basically, I will apply it from here to here, okay? And we have now this level where the most trading volume occurred. So these are the levels usually of strong supply or demand. And in our case, this could have been this, the buying opportunity after price produced a new higher high. So this indicator is extremely interesting. So fixed range on the volume profile, we can also add it for example to the last wave up we can see where the most trading volume was and here this is the price where australian swiss franc could be getting back before the uptrend continues so this shows us that the best entry could be near this price area please note that this is not the level this is an area and you can add multiple volume profile indicators this is the visible range which if we move it it will move as well because it takes all the data from the chart which is visible so it's also a very useful indicator and now as we know that the trend is up we are looking for this opportunity our potential entry could be at this area which shown there by two volume profile indicators so this is a strong support and this is where price could be getting nonetheless we have the previous resistance area formed near 067 and this is where price could be getting now if i go to 15 minute chart and look at the last wave we can also spot that this is the level of interest as well and we can now spot that this is support we can also spot the rejection of the moving average now you had the confirmation of the trend let's say now how to find this opportunity well it's easy you need to watch for the key resistances key resistance area previous resistance that got broken it's a must to see it broken and you should act only upon the confirmed breakout not before that so you confirm the trend you see the breakout best on the daily time frame then you can act you can use volume indicator to show you these levels because trading volume is very very important thing another thing you can use is indicators such as oscillators which show you overbought oversold market conditions you can use oscillators to spot the divergences let's add as an example macd and right there, you, we can also look for divergences. For example, we, we see that there is a buying opportunity upon this correction. And if I go to the 15 minute chart, what we might be looking is for divergence. So wait for the price to return to this area and then look for your perfect opportunity, whether you have the divergence or not. Now, I started with a daily chart analysis and I would suggest that everyone would use it. But of course, probably most traders like trading lower time frame because daily it's a sluggish. It's not of a big interest because there is no action. But this is the safest approach you can imagine. You don't need to spend all your day watching the market. On the daily, it's straightforward. You check once per day. That's it. And the trading should be easy. It should be relaxed. You don't have to watch the market nonstop. Just try it. Maybe you will find it profitable for yourself. Of course, if you enjoy trading intraday, it's up to you. Profit can be made trading intraday, swing trading, whichever. It must be something that you enjoy. So now we have MACD. If we're gonna wait for MACD, maybe it will show us a bullish divergence. So how bullish divergence does look? Well, you see that MACD is rising. So there is this original low and then we have higher low. But in the market, if we do exactly the same, we see that there is this low and then it's new lower low. So they move in the opposite direction and the divergences usually is a good indication. But when when to enter these divergences what is the best moment because if you get it in there maybe price will continue going down but you can spot the early divergences because if you see that the price producing lower lows 
and uh, MACD producing higher lows, this is already an emerging divergence. Like imagine we are at this spot in time. You can see that the price going lower, but here it failed to go lower. Now what you need to wait either is for the next bar to be above the previous one. This is what could be treated as the signal for the bullish divergence. So we, we go next and here we have this bar closing. This could be the entry. This could be the entry for buying if you already have the confirmation that the trend is up. So once you had this buy, you can see that this could have been the perfect entry. Now back to our chart yet again. So here we have this support we are waiting and also we could be waiting for the divergence. We could be waiting for the most traded volume price area. There are multiple ways to do that. We can also use the trend line to confirm our entry. And as an example, we can have it here. And this could be the case for the Australian Swiss franc. Now, another thing I do like in terms of the entries is to use moving averages. The entries are usually good on the 20 and 50 moving averages. So once the price retraces towards these levels, usually they're good to enter if the trend is strong. So let's change to the 20 moving average, which is simple. And here we have two SMAs, 50 and 20. If the trend is strong, price will correct only towards the 20. If the trend is not so strong, but still it's a, it's a trend, we will see a correction towards the 50. You can see when the trend is strong, we are usually pulling back towards these areas. And once you spot the trend, once the trend is there, you could be having multiple entries. Let's say we could enter the buy here. And if the price will correct down towards the 50%, we could add to the buying position. But this is the different topic. This is the money management, how you can trade it. At the same time, you could be using the stop loss at the previous bounce of the 20 EMA. So EMAs are good for take profit, are good for stop loss, are good for entries. And most common ones are 20, 50 and 200. Because 200 gives you the trend, the direction, if the price is above or below, it shows you whether it's a bullish or bearish market. And while the price is above the moving average, for example, 200, we can look for buying opportunities. This is another way to spot the trend but my personal the best way that i do like the most is looking at daily time frame and it must have higher highs and higher lows pattern on the daily time frame very important and another thing i do like to see to spot the trend is to see breakouts on the of the previously made high or low in our case we had this wave down correction down so this is the previously made high, it got broken, validating the potential uptrend. And from this point onwards, I would be looking only for buying opportunities as long as this low holds or even not this, but this, because this is also the previously made low. So as long as this support holds, I would be looking for buying opportunities on this currency pair. So that is just an example. And as we can see the moving averages yet again, what is the best entry? We see the rejection of 20 moving average yet again on a daily time frame. Multiple. This was the original entry and this could be could have been used for the stop loss even or entry for buyers. Yet again, we the price is trading near the moving average, which is 20. But here we had break and close below suggesting either the downside move or a consolidation before the uptrend continues. So moving averages are extremely good. And if we look at the current price action, we can see the rejection of the 20 SMA which is yet again a confirmation, a bullish confirmation for the long term uptrend. I think this could result in a massive trend and the daily charts are very good. Also for the entries, try looking for the breakouts, either support resistance or simple trend lines. We see the downtrend trend line got broken. So yet again, a confirmation for buyers and best opportunity can be found at the previous supply demand areas. It's very important because this is where the money, this is where buyers and sellers will have a fight. But if you can spot the trend correctly, you will be with the ones that are making profit. So it's extremely important not to find the best entry, but to find the direction 
in which you will be looking that entry for. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it is clear. And guys, I wish you a lot of profits. Hopefully you will find something beneficial in this video for yourself. If you do, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to follow all the videos that we are doing every single day. Stay tuned and we will be back with the next educational video very, very soon.